Hi everyone, I'm Sonam Inesian and today we will have a video lesson on the subject of uh, public services and then you will have a homework assignment that uh, will replace our discussion process. First of all, I would like to ask you to try to be very, very careful and uh, take care of yourself because of this virus. Uh, it says that we can just eat much, maybe, garlic and drink hot water with lime. So try your best, yes, take care of yourself. Today's topic uh, is about goods and services. First of all, let's understand what is product and what is good. Actually, product and goods are used as synonyms in common uh, parlance. However, a good is something that is tangible in contrast with the services which are intangible. So, both goods and products are services. Anything, whether good or service, offered in a market is a product. Uh, product uh, differentiation is an um, endowment of a product with uh, specific characteristics that distinguish it from a number of uh, completely similar products, turning it into an Im uh, imperfect substitute. Buyers or the customers buying such uh, product at a price similar to the market uh, expect to receive any specific consumer properties. For example, yes, someone prefers jeans by Lewis and someone prefers Lee. Differentiation is an economic barrier to competition and along with legislative uh, restrictions, they uh, form barriers to competition. Now, misalnya ya, seseorang lebih suka jeans dari Levis dan seseorang lebih suka Lee. Diferensiasi, differentiation, differentiasi merupakan penghalang ekonomi terhadap persaingan dan bersama dengan pembatasan legislatif mereka uh, membentuk uh, hambatan bagi persaingan. A company producing a differentiated product operates in a conditions of monopolistic competition, yeah, and is faced not with a horizontal yeah, but uh, with an inclined line of a demand for its products, which forces it to sell each addition unit of goods at a lower price. Uh, sources of differentiation can be natural, such as the um, right hand side, something like this, yes? side of the uh, steering wheel, and unnatural, such as the um, famous uh, hind wing, uh, reminiscent of fish tails on American cars of 50th century, five, uh, 50s, 1950s. So, sumber diferensiasi bisa alami, seperti sisi ikana, uh, kanan, Sisi kanan setir dan tidak alami seperti sayap belakang yang terkenal mengingatkan pada ekor ikan pada mobil Amerika tahun 50-an. For I hope it's much more um, clear for you if I am trying to translate it into Indonesian, you know my Google translation. <laughs> for economic research, goods and services are divided into three groups public, private, and mixed. Uh, let's uh, try with the public. Yes? Social goods are goods or services that consumption uh, by one person doesn't reduce the degree of accessibility to other rem uh, members of society. So, as an example, um, public service is defense. Yeah? All residents of the country use the service uh, in equal value. Contoh dari layanan publik adalah pertahanan. Semua penduduk negara menggunakan layanan ini dalam volume yang sama. Uh, if we are talking about um, equal kesetaraan, if I'm not mistaken, yeah? private are goods, yeah? private are goods or services, which consumption by one person leads to a reduction in the supply for others. An example of a private co uh, commodity is bread uh, or rice. The more bread uh, one person eats, 
the less others left. Yeah? The more oil a living generation consumes, the less it will remain for the next generation. So, contoh komoditas uh, swasta adalah roti. Kalau di negara saya semuanya tahu roti, tapi kalau di sini nasi ya, uh, beras. Semakin banyak roti yang dimakan seseorang, semakin sedikit yang tersisa. Atau semakin banyak minyak yang uh, dikonsumsi oleh generasi yang hidup, yang sekarang, uh, semakin sedikit minyak yang tersisa untuk generasi berikutnya. Now about mixed. Uh, goods. Mixed is called a product or service service which has the characteristics of both private and public goods or services. In real life, um, there are many goods and services that have attributes that apply to both the first and the second groups mentioned above that I told you before. A public uh, product may show signs of a private product. Yeah? A public product can show signs of private products. For example, a motorist uh, crossing a river uh, through a bridge uh, at rush hour affects the provision of other motorists with a uh, bridge service that contributes a traffic congestion and traffic delays. In this case, the marginal cost of supply is zero. Yeah, it's zero. When the bridge is poorly used and above zero, if the bridge is used intensively. Misalnya, uh, pengendara uh, yang menyebarangi uh, sungai melalui jambatan pada jam-jam sibuk uh, mempengaruhi penyediaan pengendaraan lain dengan layanan jambatan yang berkontribusi terhadap kemacetan lalu lintas dan keterlambatan lalu lintas. Dalam hal ini, biaya pasokan uh, marginal adalah nol ketika jembatan digunakan dengan buruk dan di atas nol jika jembatan digunakan secara intensif. Let's talk about the private goods. Um, private goods can can also acquire the features of public goods. When neighbors or friends are invited to watch TV at home, a private TV takes on the features of a public goods. So, barang pribadi juga dapat uh, memperoleh fitur barang publik ketika tetangga atau teman diundang untuk memotong TV di rumah. TV pribadi mengambil fitur barang publik. Hmm. In order to determine which group uh, product service belongs to, it is enough to check whether it has the following qualities. The first, lack of competition between the consumers. And the second, the absence of uh, exceptions among the consumers. Public goods or services with both of these qualities possess. First, lack of competition between consumers. If a public product is provided to one user, it is also available to uh, other user at the same time. Consider as an example uh, of a public good, a navigation beacon uh, installed in a river or at a sea, the crew of any vessel can use it uh, without uh, prejudice to the capabilities of other crews. Yeah? The same applies to the country's defense system. Jadi, pertimbangan sebagai contoh barang publik, Uh, suar na uh, navigasi dipasang di sungai atau di laut Awak kapal apapun dapat menggunakannya Tanpa mengurangi kemampuan awak lainnya Hal yang sama berlaku untuk sistem pertahanan negara The second one Uh, the absence of exceptions among consumers. If a public good or if a service is provided to an individual A, then an individual B cannot be denied the consumption of the same good or service. In order, in, in other words, yeah, uh, no one can be denied the right to use a public goods or services. Uh, Pacific. 
pacifist, for example, cannot be deprived of the means of defense that are provided to other members of society. Seorang pacifist, misalnya ya, uh, tidak dapat kehilangan sarana uh, pertahanan yang disediakan untuk anggota masyarakat lainnya. It should be noted that um, there are public goods and services that have special limitations. For example, people can use the street lighting system in maybe Yerevan in my country or uh, capital city in my country or Moscow only when they are in Moscow. But this system can be used by all people in Moscow without exceptions. Jadi misalnya ya, orang dapat menggunakan sistem penerangan jalan di Moskow hanya ketika mereka berada di Moskow. Tetapi sistem ini dapat digunakan oleh semua orang di Moskow tanpa kecuali. Now, private goods uh, don't possess any of these qualities. For example, a loaf of bread is a private commodity. Several consumers can apply for the same loaf, which means competition is possible, yeah? On the other hand, uh, if someone took uh, this loaf, then the others can no longer take it. That is, exceptions are also allowed. Misalnya, uh, sepotong roti atau... Yeah, roti, I don't know, sepotong, is it correct or not? Adalah komoditas uh, pribadi. Beberapa konsuman dapat mengajukan uh, permohonan untuk roti yang sama, yang berarti persaingan dimungkinkan. Di sisi lain, jika seseorang mengambil roti ini, maka uh, orang lain tidak bisa lagi mengambilnya, yaitu pengecualian juga diperbolehkan. And mixed goods have only one of these uh, properties. Imagine that gardeners and beekeepers, uh, tukang kebun and peternak. Oh, peternak. Okay. Imagine that gardeners and beekeepers work in a region N. Uh, there are um, more gardeners than beekeepers. And each of them needs bees to pollinate their gardens. For no bee swarm, they can make an exception. But the bees cannot fly around all the garden. Therefore, there is competition between gardeners for getting bee services. Bees themselves have signs of both private, there is a competition, yes, and public, no exceptions. Good. Bayangkan uh, tukang kuba, kebun dan uh, tukang kebun dan peternak lebah bekerja di wilayah N. Ada lebih banyak tukang kebun daripada peternak lebah. Dan masing-masing dari mereka membutuhkan lebah untuk menyerbuki ya, kebun mereka. Tanpa kerumunan lebah mereka membuat pengecualian. Tetapi lebah tidak bisa terbang di sekitar kebun. Oleh karena itu, ada persaingan antara tukang kebun untuk mendapatkan layanan lebih lebah. Lebah sendiri memiliki tanda-tanda barang pribadi karena ada persaingan dan um, tanda-tanda apa barang publik tanpa kecuali. Now, um, let's consider another kind of example. The city has a stadium that can accommodate everyone who wants to watch the match and has the tickets. The stadium area is fenced and entry is allowed. Jadi, per, uh, pertimbangkan contoh lainnya segini. Kota ini memiliki stadion yang dapat menampung uh, semua orang yang ingin menonton pertandingan dan memiliki tiket. Area stadion dipagari dan, dipagari dan masuk diizinkan. So, um, to make a conclusion, yeah, as a conclusion, let's understand the responsibility for creating public goods and services should be shared between central and local, like central and local governments. If a large part of the population is interested in a productive service, 
defense, internal order, space exploration, development of nuclear energy, etc. Then the central government should deal with their creation. Yeah? And for local issues, city parks, street lightings, or water supply, sewers, and others, local authorities should be responsible, the responsible one. Jadi sekarang dalam bahasa Indonesia lebih lebih jelas ya. Jadi sebagai kesimpulan, tanggung jawab ya yang ter, ter, uh, bertanggung jawab untuk menciptakan barang dan jasa publik harus dibagi antara pemerintah pusat dan daerah. Jika uh, jika sebagian besar penduduk tertarik pada produk atau layanan pertahanan, keter Uh, ketertiban um, inter, in, internal ya ketertiban internal eksplorasi ruang angkasa pengembangan energi nuklir dan lain-lain um, maka pemerintah pusat harus berurusan dengan penciptaan mereka dan untuk masalah lokal Taman, kota, penerangan jalan, persediaan air, selokan, dan lain-lain, otoritas lokal harus bertanggung jawab. Uh, this is all what I wanted to explain for today. Uh, as a home task, sebagai PR, ya, I'd like you... I'd like to ask you to prepare any example of public, private, and mixed goods. That we talked about yesterday, yeah? uh, today, yes. So, sebagai home task, saya PR, saya ingin meminta anda menyiapkan contoh baran publik, pribadi dan campuran. Uh, it, it, this is not a uh, difficult uh, task. I'm sure it's gonna be easy for you. Masing-masing ya, semua orang masing-masing menulis atau mempersiapkan untuk berbicara. Now I'm not sure yet if you will anyway write down. Later we will see. Thank you for today. I hope uh, we will meet soon. I hope everyone are doing well. Don't get sick, please. Don't get sick. <laughs> I hope uh, this coronavirus will disappear very soon. Bye-bye.